Good afternoon, my name is Battalion Chief Paramedic Versteg and my assistant today is Firefighter 2 Paramedic Scott Evans. Today we bring you another episode of EFD Training Minutes. cover today is called the voodoo back tie and it's a rope system that we can use in a lot of different scenarios if this was an actual rescue we would obviously be wearing our proper PPE but this is demonstration purposes only so what are the advantages of the voodoo back tie some of the advantages are it's easy to tie it's easy to untie it's easy to reset and it uses minimal hardware but that's also one of the disadvantages is that you have to have some hardware in order to do this particular system. So what are some times that we would actually use this? We would use it if we're tying a tension diagonal. We can use it for uh, the start of a water curtain. And we can also use it if we're tying a high line for a boat system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break out the equipment that we have today. Minimal equipment is a rope. Your rope needs to be the appropriate length for where, wherever you're working. We're going to use a 150-foot rope today. And the other two things you need are two carabiners. We're going to use three carabiners because we're going to use a tensionless wrap on our first uh, anchor point that we use. And because it's a smooth anchor point, we're going to need a carabiner in order to make it work properly. So with the tensionless wrap, I'm going to come around my anchor three to four times and we're wrapping from down to up. And the reason we do that is because the strongest part of our anchor is obviously at the bottom. I'll take my first carabiner. I've got a figure eight on a bite with a safety on it. And I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to clip it to the rope. All right. So once we get our uh, anchor uh, taken care of, and I want you to remember that anchors need to be appropriate for wherever you're working. In this particular case, we have something that's set in concrete. You can use trees, you can use rocks, whatever you find is an appropriate for an anchor. The first thing that we're going to do for this system is we're going to tie an inline eight. Now, there's several different knots you can actually use here. You could use a clove hitch, you could also use a butterfly, but I prefer the inline eight because it gives me a nice clean system and it allows me to work in line. The key to the inline eight is I'm going to make a bite and I need to put a twist in it. Now as I'm tying it, whichever way I put my bite, the knot's going to actually end up on the opposite end. So because we're going to be working off that end over there, pulling tension over there, I'm going to take my bite and put it to this side. Now I use it like a blinker switch. I can go in front or behind. It depends upon which way you make your uh, twist in your bite. So the way to check it is as I'm tying my eight, I come around and if my, my uh, bite and the working end of the rope come out of the same spot, then I have my knot tied appropriately. In this case, you can see they're both coming out the same spot. We come back around the anchor with the working end. Over here, the important part to remember is I'm going to put a carabiner on my inline eight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bite in the working end of the rope, and I'm going to stick it through my carabiner. This is a very important part of the system because without it, it won't have enough uh, tension on everything to hold the system in place. We come over here, we uh, take the working end, we're going to measure so that, the, so that we have two bites that are close, and then we're going to tie a figure eight and a bite on that loop right there. He ties a figure eight on a bite. We're going to take those two and we're going to take a carabiner and we're going to clip those two bites together. Now at this point in time our system is set up and this is where we're going to start pulling tension. So he's going to pull tension over there on the rope. So go ahead and pull tension. And then if you have two people, the second person can uh, help assist over here 
and it's one, two, three, pull, one, two, three, pull, one, two, three, pull. And you can see that in this system we've used mechanical advantage in order to get it tight. <clears throat> now we can actually make this tighter yet, and I'm going to show you a step for that. We're going to take the, the rope, we're going to come back around our anchor, and we're going to make a bite and stick it up through that carabiner. At that point in time, I'm just going to tie another figure eight on a bite. And all it is, is it's a hand hold. And then we're going to pull tension again. Ready? One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. One more time. One, two, three, pull. All right, and that just gives us more tension on the line. At this point in time, I'm going to put a safety in it. I don't need to untie anything because we're going to have to reset this system in a minute. So let's go ahead and loosen the rope up. So now we've done a couple rescues. The rope is loosened up. And like I said earlier, one of the nice things about this is we don't have to take the entire system apart to reset it. We just undo that safety. And we'll pull tension again. Ready? One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. And there you go. We've retensioned the system without having to reset it. There's other knots out there that people are using to set these systems up, such as a chimney hitch. Uh, an advantage of the chimney hitch is that you don't need any hardware, but one of the biggest disadvantages is that we'd have to take this entire system apart to retension it, unlike this voodoo back tie. We just undo this, undo our safety, pull tension on it, we reset it, and tighten it back up. So some quick uh, overview points is we're going to make sure we have anchors that are appropriate. The first thing we do is we tie our inline eight, put our carabiner on that bite, make sure that we make a bite and pull it through the carabiner around our anchor point, another bite, clip them together, pull it tight. Oh, no.